in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Don't mind if I do. Actually, I just came in to chat and see if you were around. Uh, well... I guess check if you were around, since... Anyway... So... In theory, you have the kitchen set up, and a bit more of a... I didn't trip on it as... M I, I didn't trip on as many things as I was coming in, so I assume you've cleaned up a bit around here. Um... What would be useful next? I suppose a proper bedroom. For you or whoever needs to use it. Do you need a room? Well... I... Me? I, I was sort of thinking more along the lines of you, or... The Eretino boy, if we should ever find him again, but... Uh... We do probably need at least one bed in here. I don't know if you have one. No problem. Alright. So that's that, then. Is someone there? Ah, there you are. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Myth? Uh, tell me your... Well, you. I'm me. What are you doing here, of all places? Myth, Idros, don't you dare run off on me like that again. Sira, I had to walk back alone from that old ruin. Blind! With my stick in my wits! Do you have any idea how terrifying it is to suddenly be without someone you were relying on? Yes. Sira, Just... Don't just vanish on me like that. What if you'd gotten hurt or killed? Or... Sira, I was poisoned. What? Someone shot me in the middle of the night. I was out cold before I could warn you. They dragged me off to Morthal of all places and I've been- Are you alright? Do you need help? I'm fine, Zira. I'm sorry I worried you. <sighs> well, y you didn't- I mean, I was sort of scared for my own life more than I was about yours, truth be told. Where is Morthal from here? An excellent question. I don't really know. I took the long way back. Had to stop in solitude to pay a guide so I could get through a swamp without getting turned around. A guide? <laughs> you had to hire a guide? Until I got here, I'd never been west of the Velothi Mountains. Yes, I needed help. <laughs> but you seem so... Confident? Sure of yourself? <laughs> Flatter me more, Serio. So, what are you doing here? And more importantly, what is he doing here? Uh, uh, uh oh, Angrenor? He needed a place to sleep that wasn't on the streets, and I figured between the two, oh, well, now three of us, maybe we could get this place suitable for habitation again. I was going to come in to check on Aventus, but he's not here. What, are you thinking of settling in Windhelm? No, gods, no, I don't settle, myth, I never have. But I do figure that the best way to show the kind folks here that people like us are actually worth something is by helping people who need help. Like Norelian and Angrenor and... I don't know, the folks in the Grey Quarter, maybe. That's... noble of you. And that reminds me, I ought to go poke around there and see what I can find. I am, after all, at least in part here to sniff out business opportunities for my father. And... Well, see if he already has competition or not. Myth? Why did someone poison you and drag you out to Morthal? What prompted this? And why didn't they take me too? Wasn't I an easier target? Well, we could debate who was the easier target all day and get nowhere, but no. They just mistook me for someone else. You know how Nords are, and in the dark, they wouldn't be able to tell me apart from a Breton until they got me into decent light. 
which they never did. Did you... I dealt with them. I'll let your imagination fill in the details. You killed them, didn't you? Self-defense. Myth? Yes. Who do you work for? My father. And the rest of our guild. And what guild would that be? The Foresters Guild. You work for a forestry guild? In Morrowind? You see why my father is looking for opportunities elsewhere. Our numbers are rather sparse and scattered thanks to the Red Year. That doesn't explain why you know how to fight and kill people, of course. Oh, no. That's simply the result of a rough and tumble childhood and a lifetime of surviving, one way or another. And practicing a few old Velothi martial arts while I was at it. I was not what one would call a spoiled rich kid, but my father did pay for at least some of my studies. Once we had the drakes scraped together for it. Your mother didn't help? Not necessarily something I'd like to discuss in front of our friend Angrenor. Oh, right. Sorry. Let's, uh... Let's go poke around the Grey Quarter then, shall we? Now, of course, the question becomes, where is the Grey Quarter? How do we get there from here? Well, I'll let you lead the way. Just to see how confident you are with that stick of yours. Right. First, I need to figure out how I got here. <laughs> um... Road at a foot. Go to your right. You have no idea how happy I am to have you back, Myth. <laughs> I... It was a bit of a struggle. I lost the wall that I was following. Uh, here, around to your left. Been a murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. I thought you said she just... Myth? Yes? What... what happened in Riften? Your guess is as good as mine. Hi, lady. Uh, Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Um... Certainly. What do you have? Not much, but I hope you like them. Hmm. Well... Uh... They smell nice. Let's go with... these ones. Or this one, I suppose. Are your parents around? They're... they're dead. My mama died when I was little. I... I don't remember her very well. My father was a Stormcloak soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. I'm all alone. I... I try to sell flowers so I can buy food. It's not much, but what else can I do? Oh dear. Ah, uh, well, I'll stop by as much as I possibly can and buy flowers from you. I'll try to remember where you are. Obviously, I can't see very well, but... Um, if you ever see Angrenor around... Ask him for help. We're, we're working on a, a house. I'm sure that sounds just interesting, doesn't it? But you take care now, all right? Stop by again. Um, right, Myth. I've gotten turned around again. Go sort of to your right and up some stairs. Okay. Oh, I see. Ulfric will listen to you. It's not that simple. Ulfric wants Skyrim for the Nords. 
He doesn't trust what he calls outsiders. You've seen how we live? Cramped alleys, run-down buildings, few guard patrols? Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. It is? I'll speak to Ulfric soon, but I make no promises that I can change his mind. That's all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a Hang better on, life going for to back up. here. For that, oh, sorry. I thank you. I want to see who this person is, this Brunewolf. Uh... There we are. Can't just throw the big oh, lodge on sorry. the fire. Uh, uh, have a little bit, too. Excuse me, sir? You one of those Skyrim for the Nords types? You must be Brunewolf. And... No, uh, certainly not. <laughs> uh... I think... All folks should be welcome here. I, I don't think anyone is above anyone else. And you're right. At least as far as I'm concerned. Don't let Ulfric or some of these other short-sighted Nords bother you. Most of us are happy to welcome newcomers. Well, I do know a certain thing or two about being... about... I know a certain thing or two about being short or no-sighted. Uh... Sorry, that... That man called you a war hero. I killed a lot of High Elves in the Great War, and I didn't die. I guess that makes me a war hero. The Great War. There was nothing great about it. Thousands died on both sides. And where did it get us? Did we really save the Empire? Or did we just plant the seeds for Ulfric's uprising? And another war. You seem like a good man. But Ulfric doesn't care about outsiders. Whenever a group of marauders attack a Nord village, Ulfric is the first to sound the horn and send the men. But a group of Dark Elf refugees gets ambushed. A group of Argonians or a Khajiit caravan? No troops. No investigation. Nothing. There's a group of cutthroats out there right now that Ulfric doesn't lift a finger to bring to justice. As long as they don't threaten Nord land. What if we took care of those bandits for you? For him. For the Nords, I suppose. That's a brave offer. I'd be happy to throw in my coin behind that. You deal with them. I'll make sure you get paid. Maybe this old soldier will throw in some lessons as well. Ah, <laughs> uh, I suppose I look like I might need them, don't I? <laughs> right. Well, I know someone who's... good at killing people. Mercenaries. Forgive me if this is a rude question, but what does a Nord gain from helping people like us, like me and Myth here? Help the Dark Elves? Oh, you must have heard me talking to Malfir. The Dark Elves live in a run-down slum called the Grey Quarter. Ulfric's content to keep it that way. I guess they think I can open Ulfric's eyes to their plight and get him to lift a finger on their behalf. I'm trying, but Ulfric is set in his ways. For him, there's two kinds of people in this world. Nords, and the folk beneath them. Oh, oh, I know how that sort of attitude gets out of hand. Rapidly and unfortunately. I'll see what I can do about the bandits, and it was good talking with you. Show those marauders what Windhelm justice tastes like. <laughs> right, and we were going this sort of way. Oh. Oh? I wish you could see. I, I mean, I do too, but... Oh, oh, that's warm. That's a lantern. And it reminds me of home. A little bit. Except that it's bloody freezing here. When they lay down before the Thalmor. 
Right, where am I going? Uh, well, we've sort of gotten lost, so just keep going straight. And down. Oh, I see. Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. Is she still on about that? Some people. I don't know. Oh, there's a gate to your right. Oh. Let's go see if that leads out. Well. Well? We found the Grey Quarter, I think. Right, um... Where am I going? Let's go to your right. And a wall. There's some stairs to your left. Right, uh, back up a step. Ah. What am I hearing? I don't know. I'm just going to follow the bright lights. You've found a very nice place, actually. Well, mostly. Mostly? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. I hear noises and people. There are noises and people around. Evidently. They have something of a reclamation temple here. It sounds like there are a lot of people here. I'm sure I've just said that, but... There's a statue here. Oh? Yeah. Of a woman and two children. I can only assume that they were... This was put here for... Memorial reasons. For the refugees. Oh. From the Red Year. Exactly. Well, I don't feel as out of place here. That's good. Is there a way out? There might be, just to your right. Well, there's a door. So that doesn't go anywhere out. We're going up. Stupid dog. I must say this place is surprisingly beautiful for uh, attempting to transplant any kind of our culture here. I think we're going to have to go back into the main city to leave though. Great. All right. Uh let's see if I can remember how we got out. How we got turned around. And right. Stupid dog. This must be where the statue is. Correct. So that means we go left. And then a bunch of very bright things. Brazier. Stairs. Then we go left with... 
here-ish. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Right. Uh Poles. Gate. I'm impressed, I must say. Oh, with my ability to mostly navigate our way out of that place. Right. Did he give you a location for this band of mercenaries? He did, in fact. Well, this is going to be a long walk. Oh? It's south of Kynesgrove. Oh, great. About halfway to Riften from here. Oh, double great. All right. Uh, well, out the main gate we go then. Which way am I facing? Sort of, uh, around Candle Hearth, actually. Go to your left and just keep going. Oh, wall. Once we find the road, I suppose it's going to be significantly easier. Or I suspect it's going to be significantly easier. Right. Right. Uh... Oh, and then we've got the very bright... Which means we go out this way. Right, as long as we stay on the main road, it should not be too much of a challenge to get where we're going. I hope. You should be correct. Now, if only I can remember which way to go to get to Kynesgrove. No, it's just straight for the bridge. Gods. That is so many crows. I believe it's because of all the fishing going on. That makes sense, actually. Right, so right is the way that we went to get to that cave out in the middle of nowhere. Left goes to... Kynes Grove? I believe so. Right, so we just stay on the cobbles. Is that actually how you made your way there? That foliage. That is actually how I made my way back, yes. Just stayed on the cobbles as much as I possibly could. That is brilliant. Thank you, I think. I'm trying to get better at making a mental map of places and whatnot. What am I hearing? Is that the wind? That is very much not the wind. Sira? What? There's a dragon. I'm... Oh? Oh no. Watch out. Uh... I would, if I could. Okay. <sighs> Don't worry, I have a bow. As long as this thing sits still for more than... Oh, I hear it. Oh, I can feel its shadow. Oh dear. Okay, 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 okay. Where's it gone? Myth? Oh. It landed. It's in front of you. Careful. Uh-huh. <sighs> Dirt in my eyes. 
I suppose the good thing about dragons is that they're gigantic. Ow, and fiery. Oh, I don't like that. Uh huh. Myth. Oh, I hear it. Where is it going? Up a hill. Great. Now it's. Oh! There it is. Ow! Hot armor! Hot. Whoa. Well, it's dead. How oh, good. Apparently, dragons burn when they die. That's news. Um. Sira? <sighs> yes, Myth? What was that? You know, I would love to be able to tell you. <laughs> um, I think what it was was a... <sighs> an adrenaline rush. <sighs> ah, I need to sit down. That was a lot. Oh dear. What? Um. I think something important just happened. I have no idea what. Uh. What? We just fought a dragon. We, <laughs> we just killed a dragon. Oh. Gods. Dragons are real. Are you alright? I'm... I'm... I... Uh... Very warm. The... Fire is hot. Yes, fire is hot. <sighs> Sorry, um, <sighs> I'm just waiting for my bones to stop shaking. Understandable, that was a lot. Right. We're... We're just outside... That feels nice, that... We're just outside Kynes Grove, right? Yes. So... In theory, we could go ask somebody what that was. We... That might not be the worst idea, actually. Right. Oh. You'll want to walk around that. Uh. Oh, there's the... Ugh. It's still warm. <laughs> I think it had some of your arrows. Well, I did... <laughs> make quite a mangle of trying to hit it. I'm not surprised. Okay. Big dead smelly dragon. Road. Ah, uh, I hear faint hammering in this sort of direction.
We kill the dragon. Uh... I don't know where to go. The inn is just up the hill. Oh! And now it's raining. That feels very nice, actually, having just been torched multiple times. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. That sounds pleasant. Right. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Uh, I'm actually here for... Well, a drink, I suppose. A important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Oh, courier. A important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Oh, that's fine. Uh, excuse me? Did you see my husband already? I'm sorry. He can come off a bit rough at times. Oh, that's fine. Uh... Have you... Did, did you hear anything... strange? Just a few minutes ago? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. That's... not what I was talking about, but... thank you. Do you have any ale? Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Yes. Good. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ha, ha, ha. Right. Do we travel through the night, or do we sleep on this? I think we sleep on this one. Ah. Uh, I like the way you think. Um. Miss? She's... Uh, yep, yeah, you're... you're good. I hope you'll stay for a bit. We could certainly use the business. Yes, we'd like to rent a room, if that's alright. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Uh, here. Uh... A important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Uh, yes, sorry. there's anything else you need. Oh, 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 you're in this direction. We are now in the room. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Myth. We... We killed a dragon. We killed a dragon. Well, you killed a dragon. Did you... absorb something from it? Um... What do you mean? Well, when it exploded, it... It exploded? Well, it sort of caught on fire, and then... I don't know how to explain what I saw. But it all looked like it was connected with you. Great, great, great. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I don't know. I have... It's I have no idea. Here. Well, that makes two of us. You're right. I'm baffled and a bit hungry. We probably should get some food. You sit. I'll handle that. Right. Chair. Chair. <sighs> right. Food. Sleep. Bogglement. And in the morning we'll head for Stony Creek Cave and take care of some mercenaries. And since it's halfway from here to Riften, we might as well drop off that ore sample while we're at it. I forgot about that entirely. Well, I have a good memory. Most of the time. Good, good to know. 
Uh, good to know. Right. 